When you're solving a system of equations, what you're looking for is the one point that works in both equations at the same time. When you move on to having nonlinear systems of equations, then there'll be more than one point, possibly, that will work. But if you have two lines, we're looking for the one point that they both share. If you think about it graphically, very quickly, two lines can intersect at one point. If they're parallel, they intersect at no points, no solution. Or if the two lines are different versions of the same line, they intersect all along it. Hopefully most of ours will be of this first variety. So there are two methods you can use. The first one is the addition method. Some books call this the elimination method. And what you want to do is multiply one or both equations by a constant that makes the coefficients of one of the letters equal but opposite in sign. So if I look at my two equations, that bottom equation, if I multiply the x term by a negative 2, it will have a coefficient of negative 4x, which is exactly the same as the top one, but opposite in sign. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that bottom equation and multiply it by negative 2. The top equation I'm going to leave the same, so that'll be 4x minus 5y equals 1. My now scaled second equation, the negative 2 multiplies, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by it so it doesn't change. So negative 4x, negative 2 times negative 6 makes that positive 6y. Negative 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And now I'm going to add those two equations together. 4x minus 4x is 0. Negative 5y plus 6y is just y. And then 1 minus 12 is negative 11. So y, the y value where these two lines intersect is negative 11. Obviously none of the pictures that I have drawn. So now I have to find what the x value is. If y is negative 11, I need to go to one of my equations to figure out what the x partner is. And it doesn't matter which equation you go to. I'll use the top one. 5x, I'm sorry, 4x minus 5y, y is now being played by the number negative 11, equals 1. 4x, do the multiplication, plus 55 equals 1. Subtract the 55, 4x equals negative 54, and divide both sides by 4. x equals, let's see, we can take out a 2 at least, negative 27 halves. We get the same answer if you plugged that y value into the second equation and solved for the x in that one. So the other method we can use is the substitution method. Usually I will only opt for this one if I have a y equals or an x equals. I have one of the variables completely isolated. So if y equals x plus 7, then in my second equation, I can replace this y here with the x plus 7. So rewriting that second equation, 2x minus 3y, but y will now be played by x plus 7, equals 9. Now what I get is an equation that only has one variable in it, and those are exactly the kind that we like to solve. 2x, distribute that negative 3, minus 3x, minus 21, equals 9. 2x minus x is negative x, minus 21 equals 9, add 21 to both sides, negative x equals 30, which means that x equals negative 30. And then, again, I know what the x value is, I need to find the y partner, use one of the equations up here to figure it out y equals x, now being played by negative 30, plus 7, y equals negative 23. Let's check that in that second equation, because this is the point that's supposed to work for both lines. So let's make sure it works in the second one. So 2 times x, x is negative 30, minus 3 times y, negative 23, should equal 9. Does it? 2 times negative 30, so there's negative 60. Negative times negative is going to be a positive here. 3 times 23, 
Let's see, 69, is that equal to 9? Sure it is. Good job.